Okay, so we're here in Virginia. We've just taken a little drive down Route 66 and we took a turn somewhere between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Shenandoah River. And we've ended up here at the Appaloosa Roots Music Festival. I think that Roots music gets people's feet a tapping and hips a shaking because it's quite upbeat, it's got a great melody. Quite often, you know, there's a mandolin player or a guitar player, and that's, you, you, you're just watching them and you're in awe of how fast they're playing because it is fast music a lot of the time. Hey, how are you? Hey, man, how you doing? So we met Dan, he's from the band Scythian and he's also the organizer of the whole event. We did it the first year, kind of like by the seat of our pants. 3,500 people showed up, and then every year it's making it's, making its own identity. And it's all goodwill, it's all donation, and uh, we don't have big investors, it's just a band trying to start something. And I don't know, it's been pretty amazing. Everyone involved, it seemed, was in some way connected with Dan, connected with the community. It's very much a local grassroots festival. So as I walked around the festival and I had a chat with a lot of the people attending, it became very clear to me that a lot of the people there were locals. I love the atmosphere. You know, I grew up around here and in the country and it's just always moves me. It's always wonderful. Here it's like, it's just a community. You know all these people, like they're the friends of friends. They're your family friends. It's family friendly, has an opportunity for the kids to play and, and for us to listen to good music. And we got it. Okay, so this is Nick, and Nick's gonna show me something that'll make me go... Well, hopefully. So that's my card. It's the five of hearts with my name on it. It's got your name on it, It's got right? my name on yeah, it. All right, check this out. So this time I'll let you see it. Look, it's gonna, I'll let you, I'll let you see it. It's sticking out yes. like, like that, so you know exactly where it is. Yes, right? I see it. I'll even let you push it in the deck. Go for it. Did you see it happen? <laughs> Did you see it happen? No. You didn't see it happen? No. You, no, it's, it's already done. Yeah, uh, it's in there. No, it's just done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God. I got to chat to Mandolin Orange. They're a great husband and wife band. And they shared with me how important roots music is to them. I think a lot of bands, maybe in more like mainstream or pop or indie settings, they don't tour quite as much as like roots musicians do. And I think part of the reason for that is because we all come from this place of like playing is what we do. It's not just necessarily about like what you put on a record. You just want to be playing. And I feel like that's what makes roots music. I was fortunate enough to go to a little camp site. We got to chatting and then chatting led to picking up a guitar and I got to participate in a little jam. Music to me takes me to another place. For me it's meditation and it's fun. And I think that's the way it is to everyone. There you go. There you go. I'm a little bit rusty, I tell ya. <laughs> they welcomed me with open arms and they were so loving and they were just so happy to share this with someone who wasn't a local. So when I was watching the bands on stage, in a crowd of strangers, people I didn't know, quite often people put their arm around me and start singing along. Everyone is just as one, they're there to have a good time and you do, you have a great time when you're at a music festival 
and at the end of the day that's what it's all about.